The hunt for the trophy here at Buffalo Ridge Golf Course in Branson reaches its final stage today with plenty of big names in the hunt from VJ Singh to Bernhard Longer, but the name they're chasing is probably not the one they expected when they came this week. Shane Birch hasn't won a tournament since his Corn Ferry Tour days back in 2015. But in just his second PGA Tour Champions appearance, he took a four-stroke lead into the final round. Things, however, fell apart on the par 5 eighth. Birch's second shot found a hazard, and then his fourth caught the trees. But the Colorado native managed a huge up and down after that to save bogey and maintain his lead for the time being, now down to just one stroke at 13 under. Believe it or not, even though that was a fluke hole, that's where I probably won the tournament with that up and down from, I think I had 74 yards out of the rough to that elevated green, you know, under a tree, out of the rough, and got it up and down for six. Still, that opened the door to the golfers behind him. Glenn Day managed an up and down of his own for birdie on eight. He finished his round 13 under, but it looked like 14 would be the new mark behind Kenny Perry. The Kentucky native knocked in a birdie on eight as well and made it to 14 under on the back nine. Birch stayed nipping at his heels along with Bernhard Longer. The German sank this birdie on 10 and went on to reach 13 under as well, placing three golfers just one stroke back of Perry heading into the final hole. And Perry failed to seal the deal, bogeying the 18th, setting up a four-player playoff back on the first hole. Order determined by picking Buffalo skulls, each of which had a number underneath, Birch drew last and proceeded to watch the other three get taken by the wind into the right bunker. So Birch goes left instead, and while the others had to lay up, he had this chance for eagle and the win, and it drops. Despite letting his four-stroke lead slip away, Birch claims the trophy at Buffalo Ridge for his first career win since the Corn Ferry Tour. Oh, it's incredible. It's incredible. I, uh, you know... I'm proud to be a winner of this tournament, and that trophy is going to be—it's uh, always going to be with me. This is a special one. I mean, I've always had a hard time saying what my most special moment in golf is, but without a doubt, it was that put on uh, the first playoff hole. So an exciting finish for the PGA Tour champions golfers here at Buffalo Ridge, but they don't get much time to rest because on Monday they start up all over again for another three-round tournament just up the hill over at Ozarks National Golf Course. But for now, reporting from Hollister, Matt Vereen, Ozarks First.